Hi, PRS community. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm going to do some tips today on uh, some Muay Thai shadow boxing and some workout tips. Um, if you uh, if you want to integrate this in a full workout, what you could do is you can go for a run first. Try to get about a 10 minute, at least 15 minute run or skipping in place. If you don't have a jump rope, this is another way you can do it is by bouncing. This is going to help your stance and your calves. This is a really good way to develop your proper footwork moving back and forth. So you can do that in a substitute of jump rope. Um, if you don't have a bag, then uh, you're not going to be able to um, hit anything, but we can work our shadow boxing. If you got a mirror or something to look at, that always helps. So for our shadow boxing, what we can do is we can practice um, a combination. And we'll start off with the jab cross, one, two, and then I'm going to pretend that my partner is round kicking me. So when they get above a certain level that my legs can't check, I can practice my slips. Okay, so the kick is coming. If I want to step back and lean my body back and get out of the way, this hand will stay up. I drop my chin. I do put my hands down. That's going to help me get myself back up. Okay. So I'm leaning my body back. If you notice your rear foot, you're stepping back and you're using the ball of your toe to lean off of. You're leaning your body back. So again, we'll go one, two. We'll rock our body back. And with the kick coming across us, we'll throw the right cross and then the right kick. Boom. You go ahead and just make a half circle every time you kick. This will help getting your hip over and turning your body and throwing your arm, turning this foot out. So on shadow boxing the kick, the trick is, is to get your whole body around. So when you turn your left foot out and start pivoting with that kick, you want to swing with the hip. If I don't turn my foot out and I don't swing that kick, it's going to come out like this. Okay, so we want to practice turning that hip is going to make our kick hard and fast and throw a lot of power behind it. So I turn this foot out and I pivot when I kick. So just do a 180 for now and then turn back around. Of course if you're fighting you would just end up in the opposite stance if you missed and get got back. So in a combination we'll go one, two, the kick will come, we'll rock back here, I will come up, throw my cross, and right kick. We'll practice that. Move around if you want to stay stationary. That's fine. If you want to work your footwork in between it, and go again. One, two. Rock the body back. Throw your right punch. Turning out with the left foot. Hands up. Throwing the kick. Try to put a uh, three minute round on that. That'll be your first round. So now that you've done the first combination for a round, we're going to do uh, another combination for a round. The second round is going to be the same thing. We'll start off with our one, two, jab, cross. Okay. Now the left round kick is coming to the body. We're going to catch this time. So I want you to step out away from the... If I stay right here, then it'll break my ribs. So I want to get away from that power. I step with my left foot and turning, catching nice and tight. Put this hand out, step with my right foot, left knee. So again, one, two, boom, boom. The kick is coming towards your body level. You want to catch it this time. Keep the power away. I'm going to step with my left foot, I'm going to grab it. Hands, notice, is up. Keep that hand up so I don't get punched in the face. Okay, they can still punch you. Step forward, knee. Okay, try to do that for one round. So moving around, one, two, step, catch, switch to stance, knee. One, two, step and catch, switch to stance, knee. That's round two. So round three, all you're gonna add is that left kick. So round three, you're gonna add 
a shadow boxing round. If you do have a bag to hit, that's great. If not, uh, you should shadow box this regardless. So round three, we're already here. We're switched. We've thrown the knee. Now the leg is caught here. My hand always is still up. I'm gonna scoop my body back and I'm gonna throw the leg. Your foot is in here, so I gotta scoop back a little bit. I throw the leg. I counter with the left kick. Boom. Again, shadow boxing the kick. Turning the foot out. Throwing the arm. Getting the hip over. Boom. Through my target. Okay? So again, can this land in the opposite stance? Get back. I'm kicking through the target. Not stopping in the before. I'm not doing this. I'm kicking through the target. So again, I'm already switched. I throw the knee. Step back, throw the kick, left kick. So this is how you add for, for round three. Jab, cross, step, pitch, knee, throw, kick. Okay, so you're gonna do that for three rounds. Okay, now it's time for round four. You're gonna stick it all together. Jab, cross, rock back, right hand, right kick. Move around, move around, go again. Jab, cross, step out, catch. Switch your stance. Left knee, throw the kick, left kick. Move around, okay, again, again. Jab, cross, rock your body back. Right punch, right kick. Okay, move around, jab, cross, step out, catch. Switch the stance. Left knee, throw the kick. Left kick. For your endurance round, round five, I want you just to work on your knee, okay? I want you to do marching knee. March down, knee, 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 knee. And turn around, go back, knee, knee, knee. Knee, knee. Of course, you can start being very explosive with it. Ish, 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 ish. Okay. Keep that up for the whole round. Okay, everybody, don't forget, we got calisthenics. We're going to have our push ups and our sit ups. Okay. So we'll do two sets of 25. Good old fashioned push up. Try to go down here. Keep your body nice and locked slowly go down elbows in and up Those two sets or if you're not ready for that you can do sets of 10 but you're going to do uh, 50 push-ups all together all right so now we're going to go into our our v-ups so we're going to be up with the knee and then with the toes so knee up and the toe touch is one. Knee up and the toe touch is two. Knee up and the toe touch is three. Knee up and the toe touch is four. Knee up and the toe touch is five. Knee up. So we're gonna go to 10 on those. Get 10, they're not easy. Um, do your best you can. Try to stay in that engaged position and the V, okay? After you're done with those, you got 25 Muay Thai sit-ups. A Muay Thai sit-up is different than a normal sit-up. We come up and we're still engaged and we crunch. We come up, we're still engaged and we crunch. We come up, we're still engaged and we crunch. Get 25 of those. If you're more advanced, you can get 50. Try not to pull on the back of your neck. Try to keep those hands on your head. If you do less with better form, that's always better. All right, hope you guys are all doing well. We'll see you soon.